Okay, so when it comes to coin push machines in the bar top style, I think it's a pretty damn cool idea. I made this video a couple of weeks ago and I'm very excited even today. And the reason why, because this thing is absolutely epic to have. Better said, maybe it's just about one of those most awesome things you can pick up beside having an arcade machine or like a bar top machine or something else. I personally really love coin pushing. I got a lot of positive response to it, but also a lot of negative ones. And those negative ones were quite interesting because the negative people were like saying, yeah, what is the point having a coin push machine? Because there is nothing to win. So in this video, I also want to dedicate not only to the product itself. I also want to show you what can you do with a coin pusher machine at home. <laughs> Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. But yeah, so when you want to play some old school, let's say coin pusher at home, there are so many awesome ways to do so. But let's talk about the decoration that I did in my machine itself, because I think this is one of those parts that are so cool to do. Decorate your machine and give it more like a very cool theme, like when you're looking at the carnivals. Like with the prototype, I also have a key so I can open up the front plexi and then reach into the machine itself. So I do have the older version of Coin Pusher 365 that's not for sale anymore. At the left one, the black one is a prototype and all of the way at the right, we do get ourselves like the first prototype. So nevertheless, we're going to use the old school one for now because I don't have the new model and I'm hoping in the future I can review that one too because it's going to be freaking epic because the new one does have like some new functionalities and improvements. I'm showing you here the prototype and the new version coming out. It is basically like the same kind of version, only with some minor improvements here and there. One of the improvements I really looking forward that we have like a bigger gap at the bottom. So we have like bigger prices we can put in it. So all of these minor things are going to make this thing even more epic in the future. So again, looking forward to reviewing, but also having the new models. But this coin pusher 365 I'm having is the older model. I would say like this thing is not going to be sold anymore. They have even an improved version I'm hoping to review in the future. And this is absolutely cool to have. Besides, I'm going to explain you how everything works. Let's do a quick overview of the machine because some things are similar to the new version coming out. Right at the front, we're going to get three slots where we can put in the coin. I really like it. It gives more like a personal touch to it because you can put the coins in a certain position, hoping they will fall in the right position in here. I think it's pretty cool. Another thing you just heard is this weird sound. And the reason why, because here at the side, you can see some of the coins can basically disappear in here. So with this version, I'm having the older version, you have this big draw that you need to like slide out from the back. The new version has like two tiny ones at the left, at the right, at the front. But here you can get your coins out that basically like fell out of the game, including your bonus points. So one of the focuses I want to have today is like how are you going to play at home? Because there are a lot of ways to play, because you're not playing for prizes anymore, but I think you can make a cool competition. So what you can see over here, I have all kinds of coins found on thrift shop and other cool things that we're going to talk about. I will explain you my game that I play against my friends that are a lot of fun and brings the competition when it comes to coin pushing. All right, so let's talk about the game itself. Why are there so many coins in here? So what you can see over here, I made them myself. I also like find a different way to order them with a certain amount of points on it. So here you can see we do have got different kind of points. Who gets the most points will win the game. But makes it more challenging, you can put more elements to it. The basic game I made the first time is very simple. We do got like multiple points that you can basically win. We got one point, two, five and ten. But there is difference between the new game I've created and this one. So this first one is just a basic game. Who gets the most points wins. You need to find a balance. For example, you don't need to put too many 10 points in it because if one player get all the time points, it's game over fairly. You have to say very soon in the game and that makes not really a challenge. So I implemented some extra features. But to give it more of a challenge, I added some other tiny things. For example, if you're going to put it upside down, you can see there is no way of seeing what kind of number. And when I see what kind of number, I also having one of the same color having zero. So it's like in Gamble, which one do you get? That is one of the things. Another thing I implemented too are the black chips. And the black chips, I think it's very difficult to see, are minus 10 points. So what you can do basically is not only like trying to win the most points, these are like the gambles, you get 10 or nothing. And of course, if you accidentally getting a black one, you will lose 10 points. And not to forget what I already mentioned, are these big points falling in the side? you know nobody's going to get them. Okay, so you're ready to play. We're going to put in the coins. 
But also here we can even like change some things out to give it more like a challenge and an awesome new twist. But let's talk about the coins because here we can play also with some things. To begin with we have like infinite mode. I think it's the less let's say fun way to play. It can just put in let's say maximum of four coins for each round for each player. It can be one, two, three or four players. I wouldn't they go higher than four otherwise the matches will be too long because you need to wait turns. Another thing you can do and I think there's also a very fun way to do. It's like giving each other a certain amount of coins. So let's say you're going to give player one to 100 and you're going to give player two 100. To give like one of the players, let's say, a handicap or give the same amount of points, that is also possible. So if you're going to play this way, you need to find a strategy. The best strategy, and not like what I did over here, you need to put the coins on the best way. To get all the points and just be the winner. Because you're not going to get yourself a coin back every single turn. So like you can see over here. So we do have like a limit for each player when it comes to the coins. But I don't know where these things are from, but maybe you can find them in different kind of formats. But these tiny ones can fit in the coin slot itself. And they will fall like a normal coin. But what is the fun of this? So basically what you can see over here, we do have like the number 2 and we have even like a number 20. So what are, what are these? So basically if you're going to get one in your hand, what you can do is getting an extra 20 coins in your basket. So that gives the game a little bit more alive. You can implement them in the game, you can say like we're putting like a lot of big numbers so we can keep playing or you can add them later. And I think that is a lot of fun and gives more like a variation, not only winning the points, getting the tiny ones for getting extra coins for keep playing. Because if you're going to put all of your coins in and you don't have any coins, your game over. So basically this is one of those ways you can play. Take consideration the bigger coins, you need to add them to the play field before you're going to play the game, of course. Mamma mia, look at me, I've got the toy points, yahoo! All right, so let's talk about game number two, playing for prizes. This is just like a very easy thing to do. You just slap in your coins. For example, you can make those pile coins. And the reason why, because we having like piles of coins, you can have like a good return. If you like limited coins that you want to play with. And limited coins is just a matter of time. With the prizes, keychains are one of those best things you can put in at the moment. And later on with the new models, we do have like option to get bigger prizes in. They can basically grab out of the bottom part. I think it's pretty damn cool. And it gives you like an, a different way to play. And of course, winning prizes is so much fun especially if you're going to put them in there and other people can win them if you have a lot of time you can basically build yourself a wall of coins so the next game is going to be the wall of coins and the thing that you need to do put in a certain amount of coins or maybe infinite you can just mess around with prices if you want to and just to see if you can push out the wall of coins you have so many variations when it comes to this but this is just one of those things you can do when it comes to having a coin push machine Another game you can do is like try to push over the tower. So I've made like a very tiny tower in my coin push machine. But if you have like an, uh, maybe some 30 minutes to spare, maybe even longer, you can build yourself like this gigantic tower and make the game. Can you push it over and with how many coins to spare? But the first thing we're going to talk about is the decoration of my personal machine. Because here we can go all, I say, crazy and creative. So I'll give you a quick tour of how I decorated my machine. So to begin with, I have like the Homer Simpson and the way I attached it is very simple. What you can see over here, I attached it to the plexi, super easy and very strong. So when you're wiggling the machine, you don't need to be afraid that it's going to be falling down. Another thing I did, like putting a Drangable Z figure in here, it's Bardock. I used some poster clays, you can see them at the back over there. So give it like a stable position, you can see it has been put in the position very sturdy no problems and shaking the machine too some figures over here for the teenage mutant ninja turtles to give more like this game cartoon vibe raven rabbits sonic the hedgehog and very old classic one and god boo over here from the dragon ball z but together it gives like a very cool let's say vibe into the machine and that's what i really like about this another thing i wanted to do in the future we're going to make myself a jack sparrow or pirates of the caribbean like theme, I already got myself some other figures I want to put in the machine. It's going to be freaking epic in combination with some pirate coins and other things I have laying around. So my next machine will be like pirate slash uh, Jack Sparrow themed. The complexity of this game is absolutely like not really necessary. But I think the new elements will give you so many different ways to play and it's so much fun. 
And if you're going to play this against your friends, you just have to wait to play. But it is more like the competition mode with all kinds of elements you can change out to give yourself like a very long game or a very short game. But don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell, become on the Wicked family if you like coin push machines like me. And it will be great to see you in the next video where we're going to review more stuff, do more crazy things. And it will be great to see you there.